Greetings, I'm Mark, and as many of you, I love coding. And what I'm going to do uh, today is uh, take the uh, sketch that we wrote previously. I'm going to alter it for if you, say, want to change this, resize the screen. Um, it, it might be because you've got a 4K monitor or a 1080p or you made an app that you want to just make adjustable you would not want to be able to resize it. And to do that, we're going to need to change a couple of things in our sketch. And so the first thing we want to do is add a, uh, the first thing we want to do is add a function that allows us to resize the display. And I'm just going to cut and paste something that I've already uh, copied for you. Um, and you can see it right here it says surface dot set resizable equals true pretty much exactly as it says uh, let's save that and let's just run it and see what's going on here um, and as you can see at this point in time we can now resize our screen but you can also see that it does not resize the uh, alien hand or change the orientation and location so what we want to do is do that um, and it's all right in here and first thing one first things we need to do is uh, right down here where we say resize uh, this is no longer going to work for us it, because this is basing it on the image width and height and what we want to do is uh, create the size of our image based on the display width and height. To do that, we will need to get the aspect ratio of our image. Uh, I mean, we, we don't always know that. You can, if you're using the same image over and over again, you can pretty much figure this out and hard code these numbers in, but we're going to just do that in processing. And so right after we load the image, what I want to do is discover the aspect ratio of this image and to do that we need to find a variable um, a variable that I want to call uh, AR for aspect ratio AR and we're gonna say it equals something we haven't defined it up here it's going to be a float we want to define it down here and set up by dividing the uh, image width by the image height now the image is, we've got the uh, now the image we've uh, initialized it or declared it as hand hand and we want to say hand width divided by h a n d dot h e i g h t height and let's just uh, down here at the end of setup we want to print out our results just so we can take a look at it print line um, open parentheses AR close parentheses okay now let's save this and run it and you can see down here it says 2 so we have a, a basically a uh, 2 to 1 aspect ratio alright now how can we use that well what we're going to do is right here um, but to do that, uh, after after we define the aspect ratio, we want to create the new height and width. And, and if, doing height and width, we want to define. I want to define. I want to define two variables. Uh, it, um, I want them to be integers, and I'm going to define them as uh, w, comma, height. Um, width and height. Now let's get that math going down. Now to get the height, I'm just going to use an arbitrary number. H equals uh, um, H E I G H T height divided by four. You can use any number and change it until we find what we like. But for now, I'm going to just say height divided by four maybe we'll get lucky I don't know now to get the width you to get the width you'd have to uh, take the uh, uh, aspect ratio and multiply that by the uh, 
height. And so we're going to say W equals height times AR. Then it's saying, oh, down here you can say, oh, this is a float. And it does not match the int that you created up here. It's an integer. So what we're going to do is convert it to an integer. Um, this is a conversion technique to convert in integers. You type the uh, int, and within uh, parentheses, you put your uh, math calculation. And it's whatever the results are, it's going to convert it to an integer. And as you can see, we're no longer getting any kind of error. Now the next thing we want to do is uh, is remove this in our resize function. Um, and we want to remove it and create it to be width. And we want to create it to be height, w and h. Now at this point in time, we should be able to uh, run our sketch and not have any errors. Hopefully. OK, yes, it's still functioning. We're on the roll here. OK, the next thing we want to do, we want to figure out how to change things when you resize your screen. Um, and to do that, we're going to make a function uh, to initialize all these variables that actually use uh, the width and height of the screen. And there's a few here. And well, I, 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 as I've stated in previous uh, videos, I like to create a, a, a function in a separate tab. And up here, you, you can click the down arrow, new tab. I want to call it init, N-I-T-I-T, -I -I um, init. Wait, did I said spell that wrong? I-N-I-T, init. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, and we got a clear screen. Now we want to uh, create our function. Again, there is going to be no return value. And so we're going to say void, which means empty. And we're going to call it init I-N-I-T. Um, open parentheses, close parentheses. Open curly braces, close curly braces. And there's our function. Now, in here, what we can do is take everything from this point right here. Pretty much. We can take all this and let's just copy it. No, let's cut it. Cut it. Oops, Control S, X, cut it. And we want to paste it, Control V. Go back over here and uh, do the same with uh, this. Um, right here, the X and Y. Cut it, paste it. Okay, now we're we've got a function to initialize anything that is initialized using height and width, which is going to change. Um, and at this point in the game, we can now before we go any further let's remove this let's delete this we don't need this anymore what we want to do is uh, initialize everything and so I'm going to just say init I'm going to call our function right here now if we've done it right we should have no errors now I'm going to uh, run this control R and it seems to be working now Again, when you change it, nothing has changed. But how do we determine this? Well, the way I've done it is, and I don't know any better way to do it, is to write up here in our setup, right after we do the init function, I want to save the current screen display size, the sketch display size. I want to save that. And to do that, I'm going to need to create two uh, more variables. And uh, let me see. I guess we can do that in uh, integers. I'm going to call um, display width. Let's do D. How about this DW? 
for display with. Now when you're naming your variables, you kind of want to name them things that make sense. Um, while you're writing it in the moment, you know what makes sense, but what if you look at it a year later and you're like, what, did I, what am I doing here? Um, more defined words like say, uh, instead of DW, what if we just said D width, W-I-D-T-H. Um, and then we'll do the same thing for height. We're going to say D-H-E-I-G-H-T. Also, if somebody else looks at your code, they kind of helps them figure it out a little bit easier too. I'm going to save this. Now, after we've done our initialization, um, we can right here go ahead and uh, save those values in our variables that we just created. So we want to say d width equals the width of the screen. And we're going to do the same thing for your height. D H E I G H T equals H E I G H T height. Okay, now how do we use these? Well, we're going to use the all powerful if statement. And I can't even tell you how powerful this is. You just have to trust me on that. Um, you will use it more than you will ever believe. Okay, so first off, we're going to do if, and what we want to do is check to see if it's changed at all. If um, width, and how do we do that? Well, we say if width is not equal to the previous that we saved, which would be d width. And At this point in time, if the width has changed, it's going to run this code that we're creating here. Let's uh, close this down. We're going to add to it in a moment. I just like to get my uh, curly braces, curly brackets, whatever you want to call them. I like to get them all situated so I don't forget um, and come up with errors. So since this is more or less its own little entity, the if function, I'm going to indent all these just to kind of make it easier to define. Um, but now we've got to write something for the height. And what we're going to do is use that OR statement, the uh, double toothpicks, um, for lack of not knowing what the actual name of this character is, double toothpicks. Um, and we want to check the same way with height, A T I G H T. If it's not, which is the uh, not is the exclamation point not equal, oops, not equal to D H E I G H T. And so if either of these cases take place, one changed, uh, either one of these changes is going to run this code. Now we can run it. Let's see what kind of results we get. Well, so far so good. Now let's see what happens when we resize it. No change. Why is that? Well, The reason is, is we haven't done what we did up here, where we've defined the width and height after we've initialized it. We need to come back in here. Let's copy this. In fact, let's just cut it and come over here and put it right here, paste it here. And so what that's going to do is during the first initialization, it's going to come in, it's going to run it, then it's going to reset the size, or, or it's going to make, a, a, or it's going to define uh, our width and height in our D width and D height. And what that allows it to do is when it changes, it can have a previous size. So let's save that. Let's run it. Now well, it's working so far, but what happened? Well, I forgot that we init here. We call the function here, but we need to call it every time here or else it doesn't know to, that it's ch to check to see if it's changed. Init. Now when we run it, we should get the results we're looking for. 
move it and you can see it hand grew everything is where we want it to be okay now that's functioning and that is pretty much it if you want to change your size now we can also um, base a form of math to control that speed the, the X speed now how would you do that how would you base that well what I do, um, and I suggest, is I do a little pre preliminary math. As I know that um, my screen width is 800, and I know my speed is 5. So let's, uh, let's take this and say 800 divided by 5 equals 160. And 160, um, if we take 800 and divide it by 160, what do we get? 5. So what we want to do is, our, we, we want to take our variable here, our x speed variable, and let's take that out of here. Control x. And we want to put it over in the init statement. Where can we put that? Let, let's, uh, yeah, let's just put it right there, paste. And, and then what we want to do is just what we did here with this math. Um, we want to take that number 160, because that's pertinent number. And we want to say width divided by 160. And as you saw previously, what's going to happen first time through, it's going to be 5. And let's save this and let's run it and see what we get and it's still working perfectly now what happens when we resize it backwards when we resize it it's going faster um, let's go full screen and even faster it's basically running the same sp speed it's basically running the same speed, but because of the math that we're doing. Um, let's stop this back over here. Let's stop this and let's just do another quick little calculation. So I, we're going to do some quick math here just on the calculator again, just to show you um, what's going on here. My screen width is 3840 when it's full screen. 3840, 4K. If we divide that by the 160 that we put in the previous one, we're getting a speed of 24. So it's moving now uh, 24 pixels instead of 5 pixels to keep it up, keep up with the uh, screen width that we're setting. That's pretty much it. I hope you found this kind of this useful. Uh, it really helped me a lot because if you are writing apps. For Windows or OS, um, you might want to be able to resize that window. Again, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Mark. Please try to be happy and always be good to each other.